So following up the I switch video, I want to talk about a few commands that you'll be using a lot. This is I get, I set, I toggle, I press and I unpress. So in I switch, you don't actually need any commands written down in the I switch. You can actually have nothing there and control it in a different way. So I'm just going to create a few buttons so we can see the differences between them. So I'm going to have an if statement in here. So like we saw in the previous video, if this happens, else do this. So we're going to use the I get command and it goes like that inside of brackets. I get, I'll just use a capital here. And then we have to use the interface item path. In this case, it's in my Z script window. So this is my interface item path. So I'll just grab that. Control click drag. So I'm getting that. So actually, before I even do that, I want you to see what output we have. If we just do a note there, let me just comment these out. I'll grab that code. I'll place these inside a note. So I got my switch. If I press git, I get a zero, meaning that my switch is set to zero. It's not pressed. If I press my switch and I press git again, I get a one, meaning that my switch is pressed. So knowing this, I can use my if statement and say, if it's pressed, do something. If it's not pressed, do something else. I'm just going to grab these guys here and replace this. And I'll comment these guys out because you don't actually need code in a in my switch. So now if I reload, git unpressed. If I press it and I press git pressed. Now I'm just going to fold this button to get some room here. I'll remove this git out of here. And let's look at I set. So just copy this. Click and drag. Let's check set. Actually, I do, I'll do two buttons, one for on and one for off. And so I'll just copy this I get from here and place it in there. And change this to I set. Now I set is as the command I set, then the interface item path, which is this, and then the value that you want. So one would be on and zero would be off. So this button is for on. Let's do a button for off. And off would be zero. And this will create our two buttons, on and off. Don't worry about this secondary value. I've, I've done some experiments with this. I've never figured out what it does. I'm sorry about that. Now I toggle. I toggle is very useful because if the button is pressed, it will unpress it. And if the button is unpressed, it will press it. So let's do what I toggle here. And here, all I need is the interface item path. Let's look at our toggle button now. And that's just gonna toggle on and off. Now I press and I unpress is basically, I press would be the same thing as doing this. I set to one and I unpress would be, I set to zero. So I'll just copy this. And here we don't need the one out the value. And let's check out these guys. So press. And if I keep pressing, it's already pressed, so it's not going to do anything. Same thing as pressing on and unpress. Same thing as pressing off. It's already off, so it's going to keep staying off. Now the I set command can also be used for other things. For example, for sliders. So I can say I set write down the path of slider and say 100 and that will set the slider to 100 and we'll use this later on when we talk about sliders. 